Cuba has been like this untouchable place. And it's been one of those places that was so close and yet so far. But sailing into the Hemingway Marina felt like Columbus discovering you know, Cuba. The journey to Cuba is aboard the Conk Republic's flagship, Schooner Wolf. And she is actually one of a kind, and what makes any ship unique is that a ship, just like a living thing, has a spirit, has an individual spirit, just like a person has. And so she has her own spirit, and she is the wolf. Admiral Finbar is not only captain of the schooner Wolf, but also happens to be the Conk Republic's very first sea lord. I like to go around wherever and whenever I can and spread our national values, which basically is warmth, humor, and respect. And we realize there's a lot of people that are dearly in need of humor, warmth, and respect. So. Our goal is to be able to travel and share that and just be able to connect and, and build bridges. That's really the premise of the trip is to go see some people, meet new people in Cuba and really kind of experience the culture because even though it's 90 miles away from Key West, it is still very different and experiencing that on a local's point of view is really what we're after. <laughs> Of course, to fully appreciate the spirit of the crew on board, it's important to understand just how this independent Republic of Key West came to be in the first place. And what happened was, it was they put a checkpoint up at Skeeter's Last Chance Saloon there, coming into the Florida Keys. And uh, they made it like we were a foreign country. The government, you know, the feds out there, they were, I mean, you, there's lines of traffic. Everybody quit coming in the Keys. Well, it killed the tourist business here in Key West. So uh, they had attacked the Coast Guard cutter with Cuban bread. They broke a loaf of bread over the commander's head and declared war against the United States and declared ourselves a fifth world nation. And then three minutes later, turned around and surrendered. And then we asked for foreign aid. <laughs> 